high school, I was kind of by myself a lot, mostly by choice. But I went to enough high school dances and Sweet Sixteen parties to know one thing. The best way to meet a cute guy at a party was to introduce yourself to the singer in the band. I also learned <clears throat> that it's not a good idea on your first date with the lead singer to read aloud the beautiful sonnet you wrote just for him in iambic pentameter the night you got home from the party. How <laughs> oh, I envy girls who could keep their feelings to themselves. I would lie awake at night and wonder what I would be like if I were like that. Well, college followed. And I kept telling myself that one of these days I was going to learn to play hard to get. But it never worked out that way. If I wanted extra help from the teaching assistant in chemistry, I asked. Then when I became a drama major, I fell in love with the handsomest, most charming, romantic leading man on campus. He already had a girlfriend, of course but I was always available to run lines. The truth is, throughout college, when I had a crush, I was sometimes a bit hard to um, shake off. <laughs> <laughs>
down on the curb across the street. Fortunately, I became a bit more discreet as I 